my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes this is lecture number 93 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on macd just observe this one this one is known as signal line this one is known as macd line these are known as histogram just i am recalling what we discussed in our previous lecture you can see what is macd line 12 periods ema minus 26 periods ema here it is macd line this one anyway i discussed this one is in this case this one is signal line what are the macd histograms these are known as macd histograms isn't it what does it mean this is macd zero line this line is known as macd zero line positive histogram bars what are the positive histogram bars above the zero line these are the positive histogram bars these are the positive histogram bars isn't it positive histogram bars above the zero line indicate macd line is above the uh, i can say signal line showing upward trend in similar manner negative histograms below the zero line these are negative histogram bars they are below the zero line which indicate macd line is below the signal line anyway that i will discuss time being just understand what is positive histogram bars and what is negative histogram bars when macd moves above zero when your macd moves above zero what it indicates it suggests uptrend and below zero it is below zero it suggests what it suggests it suggests downtrend the zero line that is macd zero line is the line that separates the positive and negative values of macd line and histograms anyway just see this one what it says histogram reversal what it is increasing histogram bar suggest strengthening trend decreasing bars indicates weakening trend just see increasing bars means this long bars indicate histogram indicates strong momentum isn't it just see this one what is the strategy here this is simple strategy when to buy when to sell that is important isn't it when to buy when to sell means when macd crosses above the signal line just see here this is macd this is let me say this one is macd your macd crosses above the signal line when macd line crosses above the signal line what you have to do that bullish means you have to buy it when this macd crosses below the signal line that is bearish means you have to sell it isn't it anyway let us try to understand what are the advantages of macd line first advantage is trend identification it helps traders to identify bullish and bearish trends by analyzing moving average crossovers positive macd value indicate an uptrend while negative value suggest a downtrend momentum measurement what is this momentum measurement it shows the strength of a trend based on distance between the macd line and the signal line a widening gap signals strong momentum while narrowing gap suggest weakening momentum easy to use macd is visually simple and easy to interpret even for beginner traders it consists of only three components macd line the signal line and the histogram works in different market conditions effective for spotting trend reversals in trend mark in trending markets it can also be used in sideways market to identify potential breakout points divergence signal for divergence signals for reversals what does it mean bullish divergence bullish divergence means price makes a lower low while macd makes a higher low it suggests potential uptrend bearish divergence price makes a higher high while macd makes a lower high wants possible up downtrend what it says combines trend and momentum indicators unlike single moving averages macd provides both 
trend following momentum in uh, it for it has both trend following and momentum insights this makes it uh, more effective in confirming trade signals what are the limitations it's basically i can say lagging indicator why it is a lagging indicator means macd based on moving averages moving averages which are inherently lagging indicators it reacts to past price movements and may generate signals after the trend has already started leading to delayed entries or exits it uh, false signals macd can produce false buy or sell signals especially in sideways or choppy markets frequent crossovers in low volatility conditions can lead to uh, the, that is the one difficulty which faces in frequent crossovers ineffective in ranging markets what does it mean macd works better in trending markets in sideway market the indicator may oscillate around zero zero line leading to misleading signals no clear overbought or oversold levels unlike relative strength index that is rsi macd does not have a fixed range traders may rely on historical levels to determine overbought and oversold conditions make it more subjective divergence can be misleading macd divergence is often seen as sign of potential reversal however divergence can persist for long time and price may not immediately react as expected no consideration of volume or external factors macd only considers price action and does not factor in volume fundamental data or external market events that might influence price movement uh, it's not ideal for short term trading since macd is based on moving averages it's moving averages it tends to work better for medium to long term trends rather than short term uh, scalping strategies what are the uh, i can say how can i conclude uh, i i can say this is useful for trend identification and it is useful for momentum analysis a rising macd indicates increasing momentum in the current trend a declining macd suggests weakening momentum divergence signals bullish divergence there is something like bearish divergence of course it has got it uh, all limitations like uh, uh, macd may generate false signals in choppy or sideway markets it works best when combined with other indicators like rsi support resistance level or volume analysis the macd is a valuable tool for traders looking to gauge market momentum and trend change however it should not be used in isolation combining macd with other technical indicators and fundamental analysis can improve trading decisions and minimize uh, risk the moving average convergence uh, divergence that is macd is popular momentum and uh, trend following indicator used in technical analysis it helps traders to identify potential buy and sell signals by analyzing the relationship between two moving averages of security price anyway I'll let me go to google and let me do some sort of uh, um, understanding on this particular macd just if i go to google here what i did macd crossover uh, ms uh, MACD crossed above signal line in uh, for stocks in trend line in trend line side if i if i type like this i am getting in trend line just go to trend line you can see the MACD screener you can see you can see the values here what it says there are bajaj finance limited what is MACD value 14.9 just even you can just press here 14 um the different ranges increasing order or decreasing order macd signal line values also you can get even if you go something if you type in google something like macd for ongc ongc one stock of uh, in trend line if i would like to do something like this what i have to do just if i type and uh, i i will get in trend line uh, uh, there are different ways of doing this yes if 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 i go here i will get uh, Um, here you can check macd graphs also macd charts also you can check in this particular site just browse just see here a day macd it's getting 
isn't it? And uh, day MACD signal you are getting. Uh, just just go through this particular trend line uh, dot com. Here you can you can see the charts also. Just try to understand how it works. Just just uh, spend some time uh, on this MACD here so that there there are different options to check MACD uh, analysis. Yeah. Just see it. It says day MACD. MACD is below its center, isn't it? There, there is something like he here also. You can find uh, what uh, what is uh, what is change in LTP. What is MACD value? MACD signal line value. Just it, it's showing 25. Even if you want, you can see 100 stocks like this. Just go through the this one. You can find different charts. Anyway, I I will show all those charts in detailed manner in future classes. Time being, just try to do some sort of analysis on MACD. Just browse in Google. For example, if I go back and if I check, even there is something like top stock research here. Also, you can go and just MAC MACD deep dive. Just say. MACD value it's giving signal line it's giving strong bullish and you can check the you can check the chart also just you can see the chart here how whether MACD line is crossing signal line or not just just analyze these charts in, in similar manner here also in trend line in stock uh, uh, research.com you can find different different type types of charts just go through it uh, anyway in future classes I will analyze all these things in detail manner. Thank you very much.